Hi, Teresa Momber here. Today I'll show you how to create this rustic birdhouse card. Begin by cutting and embossing ivory cardstock using Spellbinder's Standard Circle Small Nestabilities number 6, with one being the smallest die template. With the die cut still in the die template, use Gina K Designs Warm Cocoa Ink to sponge very lightly along the edges of the die template. Remove the circle from the die template and stamp the birdhouse image from the Birds and Blossoms stamp set from Gina K Designs using Memento Tuxedo Black ink. Begin coloring the centers of the flowers using Copic marker YR02. Switching to Copic Marker YR61, blend out from the previous color. Then fill out the remaining areas on the petals using Copic Marker YR000. Color in all the leaves using Copic Marker YG05. For the birdhouse, begin with Copic Marker E59, coloring in the darker areas and following along some of the shade lines you see in the image. Then switch to Copic Marker E39 and continue coloring. To get that aged, weathered look on the birdhouse, we'll be coloring in using several brown and gray Copic Markers and then we'll go back over those using a blender pen. That'll push out the color and make it look bleached out. Switch to E33 and continue blending out from the previous colors. To get that weathered look 
I'll need some gray, so I'm coloring in over the entire birdhouse using Copic Marker W3. After the gray, I'll color over the entire image again, this time using Copic Marker E31. Next, I'm adding in a little deeper shading using Copic Marker E57. and then filling in a little more color using Copic Marker E33. Now use the blender pen and push out a lot of the color on the surfaces of the birdhouse. For a final touch, use your W3 Copic marker once again to add in some faint lines. For a bit of sparkle on the flowers, I'll use my Stardust glitter pen to color in a few highlights. For your final assembly, trim a piece of burlap to 2 by 4 inches, a piece of sandy beach cardstock to 4 by 5 and a quarter inches, and prepare a 4 and a quarter by 5 and a half inch ivory card base. Adhere the burlap to the piece of sandy beach cardstock. Place the two leafy branches from the Birds and Blooms stamp set onto an acrylic block and stamp using Gina K Warm Cocoa ink, but stamp off onto scratch paper first to make the image lighter. Use dimensional foam squares on the back of the circle and adhere.
using a length of peach satin ribbon, form a small bow. Trim the ends of the ribbon and then use a glue dot to adhere. Then simply adhere to your card base. And that completes our project. Thanks for watching.